in the amount of films that I've done, no two have ever been the same. There might be common threads through them at times, but they're all completely different because different cinematographers have different views. You just adapt to that. Initially, I started in film just as a sort of a hobby. Most of the projects I get asked to work on have been very, very interesting, and Empire Light was one of them. There was um, a couple of kilometres of festoon lighting all around the seafront. There were 6,000 bulbs, and the ideal bulb would be a 60-watt tungsten. 6,000 60-watt bulbs is 360,000 watts. There wasn't that power available along the seafront, but there was some power to each lamppost, and it was sufficient if we could do it with LED lights, which we did successfully. So that was nearly a character in the film itself, and it, it did work very well. The advances in LED lighting through the last decade has been quite phenomenal. You have fantastic control over the fixture. Where we used LED, it couldn't appear to be LED, so we had to be very careful. We used the Sonaras for a very big night exterior, and they were very far in the distance lighting buildings. We had an ultimate color control that if Roger wanted to make it cooler, make it redder, make it any, we had it, and the radio links worked at, a, at an amazing distance. I was confident that Panelux had the range of equipment and what they didn't have they would endeavor to supply. I knew that they're capable of doing any size of a film. If I have a technical issue with a piece of equipment, I, I know I can go straight to the technical department and they'll never fail me. I really enjoy going to work. I have never done a film in my life that I haven't learned something on. So the notion that you know it all is a mistake. If you're not learning something, you're missing a trick somewhere. And I think I've always been aware of that. And it's served me in good stead all these years.